Welcome to McNulty's Bookerel. I'm your host, Thomas McNulty, and today's recommendations are, once again, westerns. So let's jump right into it. I know that Charles Portis recently passed away. He wrote a lot of great books. This, this was his only western, and it's uh, justifiably thought of as a classic. If you haven't read True Grit by Charles Portis, please do so. Uh, his other books are fantastic as well. Uh, I liked both movies, and there there were actually three. There was one with um, Warren Oates as well. He had John Wayne, Warren Oates, and then uh, Jeff Bridges. Uh, you know, maybe Rooster Cogburn will become one of those characters like Robin Hood who will live forever and be reimagined from time to time. Uh, so we're going to do some retro books to begin. Um, the Crimson Court, William Colt McDonald. That was his real name, believe it or not. Look at this old... Look at this great old Western paperback. You know, there's something to be said for the material that was put out in this country in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Really fantastic material. Um, traditional Western. You know, The Crimson Court by William Colt MacDonald. All of his books are good. Um, here is one by Frank C. Robertson. I covered this on my blog. It's Rawhide, which was obviously based upon the television show. Be sure to watch my episode coming up on the Whitman Westerns because I go over some rare rawhide books that were only published in the UK. This was published in the United States and you know it's a it's a signet and you have a really good image of uh, Eastwood there in the back with a Winchester, Winchester Model 94. And finally this was put out by Black Dog Books. It's Lester Dent's Westerns. Lester Dent of course is best known as the uh, scribe, the author of the fantastic, so well known and so, so deeply loved Doc Savage pulp fiction novels. Look at the, there's a really great photo on the back. Tom Roberts is the head honcho behind Black Dog Books, um, and I've met he great. This is out of his library. Uh, he does a really good job putting these collections together. I'm all in favor of reprinting classic pulp fiction. You know, the original pulps, as I've mentioned in other episodes, they're deteriorating. It, get the material out. New editions for people to read. You know, beautiful editions like this. This is a great addition to your home library. You have short stories by Lester Dent, one of the all-time great writers of adventure fiction. You just, you know, it's just wonderful. Um, I've talked about these before, too, I think. Uh, on my blog, James Reisner. Everybody knows who James Reisner is. He's written hundreds of books. I haven't met him, but everybody uh, agrees that he's really quite a nice man. I'd love to shake his hand one day. Uh, he has um, checked in on my blog now and again. He's a very, he seems like a very kind-hearted and knowledgeable man. And he's a great writer. So he does a lot of stuff that he ghostwrites, but he does occasionally, you'll get something under his name. So we had the Redemption series. It's a trilogy from Berkeley a few years ago. Redemption Kansas, okay, and then we had Redemption Hunters, and then we had Redemption Trackdown. Great books. I really connected with this series, uh, and they put out traditional covers on these. Berkeley, I don't know what Berkeley's doing anymore. I don't know if they're still putting out westerns, but they, they put these out, and I really enjoyed them. So a tip of the Stetson to the great James Reisner. Uh, for putting out these books. Great collector's items, great literature to read, share with your family, share with your friends. You know, when you're talking about Westerns, oh, I just read these three. And uh, keep the Western alive, you know, it's it's worth it. Now, Jory Sherman is no longer with us. I never met him, but um, I ordered this from his website um, and had an email or two from him. A really kind man. So this is Shadows of Yesteryear, which is really a... Um, this is this is a collection of short stories that he put out, and they're brilliant. I mean, what a writer this guy was. Every Western, I have a stack of them, okay? I have a stack of Jory Sherman, you know, and I think most Western fans do. Um, what a, The guy was just incredible. Uh, really strong imagery in his writing. Um, I love this collection. He did sign it for me. I ordered it from his website. Um, I really am sad that he's no longer with us. Uh, he was a guy that I had wanted to meet at some point as well. Um, but I have his books. I have a stack of Jory Sherman. Check him out on Amazon. You know, I think he has stuff on Amazon still. And also there are plenty of material that you can find on eBay. All right, now 
Here's a new one. It's called The Scarred One. What a great title that is by Tyler Boone. Now, Peter Brandvold reviewed this on Amazon, and when I saw Peter Brandvold's review, uh, I thought I'd buy it. I hadn't read any of Tyler Boone's westerns. Tyler Boone, I, I don't think this is a secret. This is really a fellow named Charles Gramlich. I have never met him. I have read his blog. Seems like a really nice guy, interesting guy. Uh, but the thing that counts for me is he's a great writer, and he writes great westerns. So I'm late to the dance on Tyler Boone, but now that I read The Scarred One, I will be reading more excellent, absolutely excellent novel. I can't recommend this strongly enough. I mean, it's just fantastic. So, you know how you know how I love books, and when I'm praising something, they're here on this video series because they're good. You know, the writing is good. You know, as a writer myself, when I read a book like this, and I get wrapped up in the characters, and the writing is clean and crisp, you know, that that's inspiring for other writers to read good writing, you know. So if you're a writer, you can also read his books. And if you're just a reader, you're, you're not going to lose either way. So Tyler Boone, the scarred one. Charles Gramlich. Tip of the Stetson, pal. Great job. Love that. Now, W.R. Benton. I have a couple of books by W.R. Benton. And I'm friends with him on Facebook. I haven't met him either. But uh, he seems like a real real nice man. The Silver Dollar, The Beginning. This, was a, this is a beautifully written book as well. Now, I really like this book because... It follows the silver dollar through various hands. I think there's a sequel on the market. Uh, yeah, this is volume one. And I got wrapped up in it. You know, it's it, it's kind of a longer book, um, but that's okay. You know, uh, just well written, you know, and I like the unique take on following a silver dollar through the hands of other people in the Old West. So you get this mosaic that comes together to form an epic. Great piece of writing. W.R. Benton, right there. So be, you can check him out on Amazon. Be sure to check him out. And finally, we're going to end up with Lauren D. Esselman. Now, I've met I met Lauren, a uh, really nice man. Uh, Journey of the Dead. Now, he has written dozens of westerns. He writes his detective series and so forth. And uh, he signed this for me way back in... October 20th, 2000, um, when I met him when he was doing a reading in the area, the Chicagoland area. Journey of the Dead is a different take on the Billy the Kid story. Uh, it's a fictionalized account. Uh, the writing is, is elevated. I think what Lauren did here, he can write a traditional Western, but I think what he did here was he wrote a book that transcends the genre. Uh, and that doesn't happen very often with Westerns. And when it does happen, as it did with Journey of the Dead, it's kind of fun to read. You know, it's exciting as a creative writer. Creative writers, again, can learn from this type of material. I'm not going to talk about the plot. You know, I want you to discover the book for yourself. Um, I think it's a masterpiece. And I, you've heard me say that before. You know what? Hey, guess what? There's a lot of masterpieces out there. and We're lucky to be living in a world where that's the truth especially when it comes to westerns the greatest genre westerns are the greatest genre out there it's america's genre the western belongs to us and uh, it, it's part of our, our nation's history you know so now i want to uh, end it with a, a tip of the stetson to joe johnstone who is the niece of uh, william w johnstone she keeps the brand alive and puts they put out books every month so here's a current recommendations from this. Shotgun Johnny, uh, you know, William Johnson with J.A. Johnson. Joan Johnson's Keeping the Brand Alive. It's branded material. You know what I mean by that. And then this series here, Riding Shotgun, which is the new Red Ryan series, and its sequel, The Backstabbers. These are brand new on the market. So we're talking current, fresh off the presses. William W. Johnstone may be gone, but uh, thank God his... Niece Joan is doing such a su superb job in keeping this brand alive with a wide variety of titles, working with different authors behind the scenes, and the books are excellent. There's not a lot that comes out of the New York publishing industry right now in relation to Westerns. So whenever I can see great books like Shotgun Johnny, you know, I buy them. Uh, I buy the WWJ brand because th the quality is there. The books are excellent. I mean, this is... This is a killer book, man. You know, this is tough stuff. Um, so check out those. You know, you can find these in Walmart. Uh, easily, easily found. So there you go. 
another episode relating to westerns, my favorite genre. And thank you again for checking in. We'll have more westerns coming up and a couple of surprises here and there. So stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, read a book. (laughs) Ha <laughs>